All right, so this is day two of playing Assassin's Creed. Day one was amazing. I had a great time with it. The game has so much to offer. You guys are going to see in this episode, I learn a lot more. There is so much stuff in this game. It is just jam-packed with so many ways to play. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my Assassin's Creed 1 playthrough, I complimented on how the game gives you so many ways to beat missions. There's just so much freedom. Assassin's Creed 2 doubles that, maybe even triples that. This is a true sequel. I am so happy that this is Assassin's Creed 2. It takes, like, you can look at Assassin's Creed 1 and you just know that this was the foundation of the series, right? And Assassin's Creed 2 just builds on that and makes it even better. But a good sequel should take everything that was good in the first game, bring it on over, and then fix all the bad things, right? And that's what this game did. And it is a blast. I love it. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos. I would really appreciate it. it. Helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. And you guys have been giving me so much support on these Assassin's Creed videos. I will just keep pumping them out. I'll give you guys more and more and more. And they'll be pretty long, just like the last one was. So thank you guys so much. Let's get into it. Assassin's Creed 2. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. I'm excited to jump back into this game. A lot of you guys enjoyed the first video. Thank you so much for all the support. I truly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I'll continue to read the comments. And a lot of you guys gave me some really great advice, tips, some info that I didn't know about the game. So thank you for all of that. You guys can continue to do that in the Let's Play if you want to. I would truly appreciate it. Um, there's some things I need to catch you guys up on because there's some things that I did off screen that I'm very proud of. Okay, I'm very proud of it. First of all, I wanted to mention that somebody told me to make sure to get the DLC. I can't find the DLC. Like on Steam, I don't see it in the store. And I have the deluxe edition of Assassin's Creed 2, so I don't know if I already have the DLC. Not sure, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later, right? Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I've done. So I've bought some armor for Ezio here. He's got some nice armor. I've also bought some weapons, which is nice. Uh, the villa is completely updated. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it's not gloomy anymore. It's not dark and gloomy like how it was when we first came here. I don't know if you remember, but like if you go to the back to the last episode and you come to this episode, you'll definitely see a change here at the villa. It looks amazing. I love it because when we first came here, you know, we were in despair because we lost our family members. And now it feels like a new beginning after we've upgraded it completely. The sun is out and Ezio and his family, Claudia and Maria, they're moving on. It's time to move on, even though it's sad, right? It's sad that they lost their family members, but it is what it is. You got to keep moving in life, right? So let's talk to Claudia here so I can show you guys how much Don't money Claudia. You here to look at the book? we're making. Look at this, bruh. So I've bought everything, all the shops we've renovated. All of that stuff is all bought and stuff. I also purchased a lot of art. I went to all the different cities and just like got all the art and stuff like that. So right now we're making over 10,000 florin every 20 minutes, which is insane. <laughs> I'm so happy. Bro, it makes me so freaking happy. So we don't have to worry about money anymore. I'll tell you guys that. And the way that I got all of that money to purchase all the things for the villa is I went around and collected all the treasure on every map, every map so far, so far. We've only have three maps so far, but I got all the treasure chests. I went around and beat up those pickpocket guys. And there was another way I grinded money. I think I was just stealing money off of people too. Um, I also went around and collected the statues here in um, the villa. And if you go over here, there's, there's these little pedestals that you could put these statues on. Now, I didn't get the one that matches this one because it's all a pair for each pedestal here. But I got money for this one. I got money for the one down there. So I was just on the grind, guys. I was balling out. I literally jumped in a Discord call with my brother and we were just talking about life and just different things and time flew time flew also if you put on like a stream or a let's play it's really fun to just go around and just 
do all the collectibles and also get all the side quests done and stuff like that. I wanted to go to the tailor because I didn't buy any dye for my clothing here. Um, I did buy a large medicine pouch. So now we can carry 15 medicines, which is really nice. So we're not going to have to go to the doctor that much. Now, the dyes that we have here, honestly, out of all of these ones, I think I like this one the most. I think this one looks the best. Yeah, for sure. The copper one. I guess second best would maybe be the emerald one. Eh, that one's okay. Eh, maybe the ember. Ember, ember would be second choice. Uh, actually, I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, that's sleek. Okay. He looks good in that. I like it. All right, so let's continue on with the main quest. We're gonna head over here and fast travel to Florence. Oh, wait. There was something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I went around and got all the codexes that I could. So look at this. We have tons of codexes. Wow. Um, I don't wanna read them yet because I don't have all of them. I wanna be able to read them in order. That'd be nice. I am gonna do glyphs and tombs on screen. So don't worry about that. I, I'm not going to do everything off screen. I do want to like make sure I do some stuff for you guys. But I, I just felt like collecting chests wasn't fun. Like I don't think you guys would want to watch that. That's not that interesting. All right. Let's go to the tomb here before we actually do the mission. And uh, see what we can get. I love this game. <laughs> I am so freaking invested. Oops, my bad. Sorry, I got excited right there. I am so invested though. I just been having a blast. I know a lot of you guys in the comment section were saying like, you know, be careful, like watch your health and stuff like that. Make sure you're not like overworking yourself with creating videos and such, pumping out content. But hey, I'll be honest with you. I just have a ton of fun playing video games. This is my job, right? Like it is. And I only record for like four to five hours a day, every other day. I don't even do it daily. So that's not that much work for me. I think editing is the most work because you know, like sitting there and like scrubbing through video can be a little bit taxing. But other than that, like, I have a great time. I have a really great time just playing games and recording for you guys. And grinding, right? Being able to grind off screen for things that I want in game. I think that's fun. Uh, I think we need to go down. Yeah, we can go down here. Wee! Is it right here? Everybody's gonna see me like go into the wall right here. That's kind of cool. Whoa, it is pretty in here. Oh, there's people in here. Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. All right, SEO, let's do this. Ah, showing me where to go already. All right, so we need to explore and find the assassin seal hidden within. I think we could do that. Should be pretty simple. Ah, oh, look at the look at these paintings. The artwork is so good in here. 
find the assassin's sarcophagus. Oh, this is like a puzzle, dude. It's a parkour puzzle. Oh, the music's so good here. Why did that remind me of L.A. Noir a little bit? That sound. Um. Oh, this way. I like how there's birds in here. Ooh. He made that. <gasps> oh, Ezio. Ooh. Ben. Now I have a way back up in case I fall. Oh, well, that's good. There's little checkpoints and stuff here. Uh, I don't think I can make that jump over there, so I might need to go this way. I think in the comment section of the last video, people were saying that the song that I really liked that they play a lot apparently is like the theme song for Assassin's Creed now. I think it's called Ezio's Family. I really love that song. It deserves to be the theme song. And apparently in the future games, there'll be like different renditions of that song playing. So I'm going to have to catch those when we go into the, the next games. I'm really excited to get invested in the Ezio trilogy. Makes me happy that he has his own trilogy that I can play through. I'm most excited for Brotherhood. Brotherhood, I hear, is really good. I hear that game is amazing. Like one of the top Assassin's Creed games. There's another one, another checkpoint. I like that it's kind of forgiving. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, I need to go all the way up there. I see. All right. So, well, so far we're doing pretty good. Can I jump over here? And then maybe over here on the other side? Maybe these birds lead me there? Maybe I have to follow the birds. This looks like the right way. Jump across. Go over here. Ah. Also, like, going around and getting all the collectibles has really helped me out with the parkour. I feel like I've gotten the hang of it. For the most part. Okay, we need to go up. Let's try to jump it across. I'm just going to follow the birds for the most part. They seem to be leading me the right way. Yeah, look, there's more right here. Nice. This is cool. Why didn't they have parkour puzzles in the last game? All right. I think I need to jump over here. And then go up. Possibly? Can he make that? No? Hmm. Maybe all the way on this side he can make that. Yeah. Yeah, he can. Cool. Okay, here's a door. Guess we don't need to go through there, though. Jump across. Nice. We're almost there. I like how you can flip around on the on the ladders there. That's kind of cool. All right, where are we here now? I can go up. Oh, nice. This is cool. Okay, wait a second here. Get up right here. There we go, Ezio. All right, can you make that jump? No way. 
I'm gonna try it. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I got chills. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm scared of heights low key. Oh God. There's a lot of treasure chests up here. More money. Bene. Oh. Oh. Cool. But I have to hit B. Yeah. Two of the six. We need that Altair armor. I need that armor. Should we go do the one in Tuscany? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we should. Like, sh should we do it now? I think we should do it now. Whoa. I'm all the way on the roof. Cool. Can I jump into a haystack from here? Hmm, I don't think so. That looks kind of sketch. Do I need to go up? Oh, wait, no, right there. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! Nothing's better than that. Nothing's more satisfying than a leap of faith. <laughs> Where's a good fast traveling spot? Oh, they're all the way up here. Okay. Oh, wait, there was a video that I didn't play. I didn't get to watch it. It played a while back. No. Maybe it was recent entries. Oh, yeah, here it is. Francesco Di Pazzi, brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, Why? He watched as the Medici Bank eclipsed his own, and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars. One thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Why does he hate the middle class? That makes no sense. <laughs> the middle class is how you get your money, sir. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, too far. You'll break something, you idiot. Stop it. It sucks that Giovanni died because of him. I can't wait to kill him, though. It's gonna feel so good. That's gonna be really rewarding. But he's working with the Templars. I wonder if we're going to kill uh, Alexander the Sixth, the Pope. It sounds like we're going to have to because if he's supplying Francesco with money, then I might have to assassinate him. I love how this game has... Not only real people, but also real locations. Even if they're not 100% real, they're at least based off of something real. Which is nice. Because I think somebody in the comment section of the last video said something about the villa is a real place in Italy. But obviously, it's not called Villa de Auditore. There's another name for it. I love pushing through people. Okay, wait. Somebody said that I can grab him? 
Don't hurt me. Throw him. So, in the last video, I said I wanted to use the broom as a weapon, and apparently it is a weapon. Oh, there's a pickpocket guy. I don't need his money anymore, though. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I'm sorry, I just wanted to try that. I just wanted to try that. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. <laughs> Broom best weapon in Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> if you're not using the broom. Are you really a, a true assassin? <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me tear these down. It's better just to assassinate those guys, the uh, witnesses. I think, it, I think they bring the uh, notoriety down by like 75% or something like that. Also wanted to try something. I can disarm. I. Ran into that in the last episode. Look at that. Ooh, disarming is cool. And then I get their sword. Okay, I really don't want to fight this guy. Like, I'm trying to get to the tomb. Which way did he go? Oh, he is on my tail. Oh, he can't get up there. Oop. Nice boots. I think I keep them. Damn, on him. Move. We got to go. Edgar, get him. Whoa, he almost got me with that swing. I cannot see. Where is he? Did I lose him? Oh, yeah, they're definitely gone. Cool. All right, we're going in. Oh, that's cool. We're going to a hole into the floor. Underground. Ew. Those rats. All right, let's find the seal. Oh, we're able to swim. But I can dive. Oh, not really. He just puts his head down for a little bit. Uh, where do I need to go, though? How do I get up there? Interesting. Oh, here we go. Just shimmy across this wall here. Oh, there's guys down here. Okay, I can do this. This doesn't look that bad. The level design is really good. Oh. Shouldn't he just instantly be alerted? Like, if you saw someone down here, I don't think they're supposed to be down here. Uh oh. We're playing stealth horribly, but that's fine. Can I use that? No. Okay, I think.
think we need to get across here. Ooh. And then, yep. Nice jump. Got to go all the way around. There you go. Good job, Ezio. All right, we need to go this way. Oh. I wish you could, like, whistle at them or something to, like, get their attention. That'd be cool. Oh, there's a big guy in here. I wonder if I can disarm the heavy guards. We should try. I do kind of wish that was a mechanic where you could like lean up against the wall and like peek. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I can assassinate the big guy, can I? I know oh, he saw me? So fast, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. See how far I leapt at him? Okay, so we need to go up here. Oh, he didn't. That is not what I wanted you to do, Ezio. Right, let's try this again. There's some guards up here. Uh, oh, I don't have that many throwing knives. Crap. Okay, let's just beat him up. Give me that. Good night. Nice. I swear I don't use the loot body feature. I feel like it's not very needed in this game. You get so much money doing other things that like it almost feels pointless. It's like you'll loot a body and you'll get like four florin and it's like that doesn't really feel worth it. Oh yeah, we got to go across. Hi. That guy was not very smart, was he? Whoa. This is cool. Yeah, the level design is really fun in this game. They really took their time with it. Like the detail in this game is insane compared to the first game. Like, I see the first game as like building a strong foundation, right? And once you have a strong foundation, you just build upon that. And that's what a sequel should be, right? A sequel should just be the first game, but better and more. And that's what I'm feeling with this game. This is like a true sequel in my eyes. And I kind of wish gaming went back to that. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, right in the face. Love it.
Instead, nowadays in gaming, we get Overwatch 2. <laughs> Sequels nowadays are half of the first game. It's like you, you bought the first game, you really liked it. Okay, well, here's the sequel. That's half of the first game. We added new things, but we'll add the foundation that we had in the first game later on. Later on. Not right now. You'll get it, you know, in about six months. But you should pre-order now. <laughs> but you should pre-order today. Get half the game now. Uh, I messed that up. Okay. I'm talking too much. But yeah, I, I get really frustrated with sequels nowadays. That's why most of the time, like, nowadays I don't buy games right away. I learn to just wait. Like, they try to hit you with the FOMO and they go, oh, pre-order games now. So then you get all these bonuses and this and that. It doesn't work on me anymore, man. I just wait. Especially if it's a story game. Like, I'm thinking about buying Cyberpunk soon. Here I am buying Cyberpunk, like, years later. Imagine if I was one of those suckers who bought it on day one. <laughs> I hear the game's really good now, though. And we got another one! Let's go! I was half kidding on the on the suckers. I'm not trying to call people who buy games. A, a lot of us are excited for games, right? And if you're a big fan of games, you should buy them day one. You're not a sucker. As long as you feel like your $60 was worth it or $70. That's fine. I'm not one to judge. We did it. Now we can do some main mission stuff. Cool. Let's jump into the haystack. Look at that. We got 10 florin. 10,000 florin. Ready for us in the villa. I am rich. You have to show us some of your tricks. And I feel like I'm not that far in the game. <laughs> I love like any game that has like some kind of financial aspect to it where like I have to get money. I will find the most broken way to get the most money. So then I can just buy all the upgrades and stuff early and then have it for the rest of the game. <laughs> Never have to worry about money ever again. And be OP. Uh, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Catch it. Yeah. Ezio, why are you so cool? Okay, guys, you're going to hate me for this. <laughs> I, love, I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I love breaking my fall by landing on top of some poor innocent bystander. <laughs> They're just chilling down there and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's like the best feature in this game. <laughs> it's like these suckers down here walking around. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. What? No, don't knee him. No, no, nah, wait, stop. Let's see. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Throw him. Okay, my bad, sir. I didn't mean to do that. Y'all know that, right? I wasn't trying to beat that guy up. Where do I get throwing knives? Do I have to go to the, uh, the armory? Cause I have like no throwing knives. I need some. 
Yeah, I need to go to the blacksmith here. I totally didn't do that. Hey! Don't push me. Jerk. Oh, also, I know how to throw money now, so... Yeah, I figured that out while I was running around. Is it? How do I get in there? Oh, right here. Okay, move out of the way. Sometimes it's hard to hold A and B. So I can shove people. All right. Um. Ammunition. Throwing knives. There it is. Okay. Let me get all 10. Please come back. There we go. Now we got a full arsenal. I will say, I kind of wish they kept the mechanic from the first game where I could pickpocket the throwing knives. That was really nice. Kind of don't like the fact that I have to get them at the store. Okay. Let's start the mission. I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go before it's too late. Do what you can. I could do that. Am I going to finally kill him? Oh, I'm going to love this. I'm going to love this mission, guys. Oh, there's a big fight happening down here. Excuse me. Oh, look at this. There's war in the streets. Please, God, let me live. Oh, sorry. Why'd you run in front of me, dummy? What? That's your chill. Can you grab it? Yes. I need to go over there. Ooh. That was close. You again? Why aren't you dead? Men, slaughter him! Who's going to slaughter me? I'm on this rooftop. Oh, we can go over that way. Get up to him. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, the, the double hidden blades there. That was great. You sure about that? You know what? Let me use my dagger. Oh. What, what 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 is going on? You sure about that? Got him. Where are you going? Oh, I thought I dodged that. I guess not. There it is. I don't really use the dagger, so I wanted to try it out. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Hey there, buddy. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Did he do a leap of faith? 
Did he land in a haystack? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> you fool. You absolute fool. You think you could outrun me? <laughs> oh man. Look at this. Look at this clown. I thought it was gonna be satisfying. Now, will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a essere. Better to be content in this life than aspire to it in the next. Rest in peace. Francesco. Oh my god, Ezio! <laughs> Wait, did he did he let the people do that? Oh my god. He let the people basically show that they ain't scared, bro. Liberty. Wow. I mean, he said he hated the middle class, right? So let the middle class deal with them. And I'm sipping my Coke to that. Oh, is that another time skip? Or, or no. Oh, this is where it all started, huh? What is this, though? Templar Lair. Huh? That's new. Should I go do that? Lorenzo de Medici simultaneously keeping the dream of the Florentine Republic alive while leaving the people with very little. Wait, did I read your yours already? No, I haven't. While leaving the people with very little le legitimate power, Lorenzo de Medici definitely ruled Renaissance Florence during its golden age. Lorenzo's grandfather, Cosimo, built the Medici Bank, creating one of the most powerful financial institutions in Europe and becoming fabulously rich in the process. Considered the smartest of Cosimo's grandchildren, Lorenzo was already being sent on diplomatic missions as a child. Although his father was inept and sickly, his mother was a poet. She introduced Lorenzo to many of the prominent artists of the day, instilling in him a love of art and culture. In 1469, when he when he was only 20, Lorenzo began, uh, became the head of the Medici family, at which point he quickly gained control of the Florentine government through friends in the city council, payoffs, strategic marriages, and threats. Ooh, this guy here. But Florence prospered with Lorenzo as its puppeteer. A peace was made between the warring states of Italy and several masterpieces of Renaissance art by the likes of Botticelli and Michelangelo were made under his care. Really? I just learned something new. Let me go to this Templar this Templar lair real quick. What is this? Sorry, the, my curiosity is getting the best of me. Is this like a new thing that I can do? I need to get those glyphs. Those are all around, and I haven't really collected many of them. That's something that I didn't do off screen. I don't know if I want to do that on or off screen. I'm trying to. I know I at least want to show whatever that video is that it's creating. 
I just don't know if you guys want to see me do the glyphs. I know you guys want to see me do the tombs for sure. Oh, hi. How's it going? Wait a second. The guys on the roofs are wearing different clothing, different armor. You make it look easy, Fred. Bro, I'm gonna have so much money in that village house by the end of this episode. Life's gonna be good. If I leave the game on, can I just like keep earning money every every 20 minutes? If so, then this game is broken. The villa's broke. <laughs> I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I should try that later. I will literally leave this game on all day. <laughs> Have like a million in your villa chest? All right, let me uh, let me cash out. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in this lair. In fourteen seventy nine, infiltrate Palazzo Medici and save Lorenzo from the Templars. Oh. Oh. What happened here? Signor Lorenzo! It's not looking Lorenzo's good. Lorenzo's currently indisposed. Hey, you're the one who killed Francesco di Pazzi. Get him. Yes, sir. With pleasure. That was me. Ah. So you guys want to fight me? Sounds good. That's right. Oh, I can't unarm him. Okay, so the gold-plated guards I can't unarm or disarm. Okay, well I use my sword here then. Remember your training. Got him. I'm definitely gonna have to hit him from the side. Come on. I just had him, dude. It's hard to take out two. Move. Let me kill that guy first. There we go. Am I going to have to parkour here? Looks like it. Oh, wait, you can't do anything here, huh, Ezio? Okay. Okay, Ezio, you got this. Go this way. Trying to figure out how to get up there. Is it here? Oh wait, do I need to go down here? Oh yeah. What the heck? Oh wow, look at the art in here. Whoa. Hi. Hey, 
Cittadino. Not smart. On him. What's your guys' favorite weapon to use in this game? I really like the sword. The hidden blade's kind of cool to use for counterattacks, though. I think I would I would say sword than dagger. I do like the speed of the dagger. I don't know if we're going to get any other weapons, though. How do I get across here? Can I swing on that? No. Interesting. And I can't go up. Can I shimmy across? Yeah, I can. There you go. Second floor. Whoa, I hear something sparkling. Gonna have to use my parkour skills to get up I there, though. I know I heard a noise down there. It's time to earn your Florence. I want half of you to search the courtyard, the other half come with me to check the chapel. See, si, Capitano. Then we check the secret passageways. What about Lorenzo? By now, Lorenzo is already dead. You sure about that? Hi. Come on. Ah, I thought I timed that just right. Felt like I did. The timing with these is tough. You got to get good. There it is. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. Ah, I did it. I knew there was a way to get up there. Oh, treasure, treasure. I love treasure. You know, another really cool thing that this game could have had. Look right here. It seems like you could do it, but you can't. But if this game had the wall run like Prince of Persia, I could definitely see that happening right here. You wall run across. Ah, I feel like this game really needs a wall run. Wonder if the future games are going to have that? Probably not. I can't get up anywhere. I'm just going to have to take these guys out. It's not like I can crouch. Go ahead and grab him. There's somebody outside here? No. Oh, they're all up above me. Do I need to go across? Hmm. Oh, wait. Yeah, right here. Let you get it! Crap. Camera, 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 camera. <laughs> Just beating him up in the corner.
Let's see. Be able to get across here. There he is. Oh. Oh, oh. That dude definitely died. I think I knocked him down. He didn't hear anything happen. These guards are stupid. So is this a side mission or is this a main mission? Lorenzo! Porca vaca! Someone find a way to get inside there! You heard him? You two, get the ladder! This, this just might be peak Ubisoft level of design. I don't think I've ever seen Ubisoft make anything. What are as good we as doing this. with the ladder? Lorenzo isn't coming out. Can I jump down? What's taking them so long? If you both weren't so loud, you wouldn't have heard us coming. Merda, you were the loud one. All of you, All right here. mind your own business and keep watch. I love these like little secret lever le uh, levers everywhere. It oh, don't... look at that. Did you hear that? It came from the bedroom. Whoever opened it must be in there. Uh -oh. There's an intruder in the bedroom. Go, kill him. Uh, see, si, Capitano. <laughs> These guys are weird. Oh, y'all are dead, homie. Eccolo. Well, no. there. Get away. There. <laughs> Which <laughs> should go to him? There. On him. What did I just witness? Oh. Bro. Remember what I told you, ragazzi? What the heck? All right, I think I can. You are a fish, so no risky strike. I don't know the timing for these big guys because I've never fought them before. What? All right, let's see. All right, let's end this quickly. Yeah, I got him. Okay. I might have the timing down. Depending on the swing, let's see. Got him. <laughs> got him too. <laughs> The hidden blades are OP. Okay. I think I just need to climb up. Just a basic climb up, right? Maybe not, actually. I think I need to climb up this. Uh, do I need to jump? Oh. Wrong way. The camera screwed me up there. There you go. And then from here. Then can we get that? Yeah. There you go, SEO. Doing great, man. Get back. Oh. Lower your sword. It's me. Ezio. Again you save me. First they enter my church, now my home. I'll hunt them down. They won't come near you again. Look around you. This is one of my treasure rooms. You're entitled to take anything you wish from it, in thanks for what you've done. What? I trust my apartments are safe now. Yes, signore. Thank you for this most gracious gift. I must go. Big money. I will come to you again when all the Pazzi are dead. Big, big, big money, guys. Jeez. 
And I still got all that money at the villa. But we're going to have like 60,000 florin. Easy. And nothing to buy. <laughs> I have like nothing to buy. There might be new weapons though. What did I just get? Oh, more money. All right, so we saved Lorenzo. Cool. That was easy. That was really fun. Those are good missions. Like the tomb and then that, that was cool. Okay. Maybe we should head over to Leonardo's house. Drop off these codex. Because I have a lot of codexes that I got. That he could probably decipher for me. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, if there's more missions like... Oh, wait. I think my armor broke. Oh, no. Because I think when it has a, like, a little red... Diamond or whatever. I think that means that your armor is damaged. Leonardo, I'm here. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Got a ton ah, of them, man. You found another one. How exciting. Another like 20. Uh, hmm. Up. Then you just take the inverse. There. Oh, I guess only six. I may be Still a lot. <laughs> Your coin seems genuine. I got another health square though. That's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do this mission. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger soaking and smiling at me my mother explained that he had saved me and so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families yours and mine i am sorry i could not oh. see your father and brothers you have nothing to apologize wow for. i believe jacobo de pazzi played a part in their deaths they attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Stefano da Bagnone. And Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files Let's of go. Francesco Di Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Aww. That's sweet. So now we know the connection between these two. So now it all makes sense why we keep saving him. <laughs> and now he's kind of indebted to me now. Since I saved him. A couple of times. 
Patsy conspirators. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. Jeez. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Oh, that was Antonio him. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Jeez. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. All right, so we see how they all work together. All makes sense now. So yeah, they pretty much all hate Lorenzo. <laughs> oh boy. Poor Lorenzo. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore. Oh, that's the thing that I just did, right? Yeah, I did that. Let me go to Leonardo real quick. Even though I just went to him, could have waited. It's you. Thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Oh, indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. What? Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. Ah. I think Ezio all likes done. him. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures and kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Aww. I like their relationship. Noble it's nice. Fun. It's really nice. Alright, let's go find a doctor. Cause oh, an enemy to go berserk after a small delay and then die? Jeez. There's so many ways to kill people now. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Poison. Okay, I already have a bunch. Cool. Does that mean I can buy another pouch thing? We need to go back to the villa. Right now, there's 30,000 florins waiting for me, so... I don't want my florins, you feel me? Let's go back. Let me go to the... Maybe the armory. Let's see if there's... Not you, not you, not you. Even though I did want to check that anyway. But... Greaves. This looks better. Okay. Pretty much, I want to get this whole set, right? Cool. Weapons, what do we got here? 
Captain Sword. Ooh. Well, let's definitely get that. Maybe a better dagger? I mean, the speed goes down, but who cares? More attack for me. Pleasure, signore. Return anytime. Oh, the value of the villa goes up? Since I bought weapons? And armor? I didn't notice that last time. Well, I, I came to collect. Look at all that money! Yay! That makes me happy. Alright, where's my Ezio. uncle? <laughs> come in, come in. To what do we owe the honor? Been sent from Firenze by El Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? <laughs> We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scout to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. Got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Ooh. Meet me on the practice field. New moves? Heck yeah. I'll be there. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Give me combo kill now back. Dodge. What? Dodge? Wait. Oh, they gave me dodge back. Bro, I'm so happy. Oh my God, this is what I wanted. One last time now. Cause I don't, I didn't really like strafe that much. Oh, dude, I've been disarming, bro. You're late. I've been doing this for a while, homie. Just one more time, We'll do it. Look how much health I have now. Jeez. Oh, I didn't time that right. Now my timing's off. Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. Let's but do be it. Careful. They will be expecting you. I'm glad we got dodge back though. Dodge was so useful in the last game. I loved having it. Think it's this way, right? Yeah. Is there a horse out here for me? Yes, there is. We have to go to Tuscany. Um, I would think the next city would be like Venice, right? That's a big city in Italy. Whoa.
Do any of you guys watching, are any of you guys actually from Italy? Like you live there like currently? Kind of curious. I actually heard that this game is like highly respected in Italy. Like you can actually buy a lot of merch and stuff when you go there. Like Assassin's Creed merch is like sold in the streets of Italy. There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. What are these? My thanks, friend. The cowl does not make the monk axe. Smoke bombs? What? Am I Batman now? That's got to be OP. It will stun and blind enemies. That's nice to know. Oh. Oh, there he is. He's over there. Let us pray, brother. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. If you think the Lord has any interest in our affairs, you have another thing coming. But please, by all means, continue to delude yourself if it helps to pass the time. You speak blasphemy. No, I speak truth. Deny his most exalted existence is the only rational response when faced with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And believe me, if your precious Bible is anything to go by, he is completely lost his mind. <laughs> Shut up. Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora sei libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. Be free of your fear now. Uh oh. Smoke bomb for an easy escape? Uh, that's money. Smoke bomb. I don't know if I used that right. But I used it. Oh, I tripped on the people. Should have shoved them. That was my bad. Should be able to take the horse now and get up out of here. Well, we got him. Okay, so is there more? We got us. We got smoke bombs now. This is nice. Viewpoint? I have all the viewpoints, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Why'd the game yeah. scare me like that? I do wish when you assassinate, it was kind of like the first game. Like, I feel like it's kind of rushed in this game. Like, the, he doesn't really talk to them that much. Hey, hey. But maybe he doesn't need to. I don't know. Oh. Oh, we're running, huh? Where are we going? Oh, wait, what? Should have got him there. Should be able to tackle him now. 1,500 florins. They give you a lot, man. That's why I was, like, pretty much farming those guys. I'd walk around, grab treasures, and just farm the heck out of those guys. They give you so much money. It's nice. Might have to deal. No need to be shy. Come forward. Oh. Oh. Come, come, don't be shy. Damn. Damn. On him. Oh my god, really, dude? Okay, I need to go down. Talk to this guy. Don't hurt yourself, Ezio. 
Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Did you? Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually what? had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. I have my ways. That's all you need to know. I'm an assassin, boy. Those singing guys, they're not as bad as the beggars in uh, Assassin's Creed 1, but they're still pretty annoying. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Let's see if we can find him. Just need to take things one day at a time. There he is. Lost. Confused. Distracted. Killed. It will be okay. And if he does come, if it happens, I keep moving. Never in one place for long. Only, only how to sleep. When to sleep? Where to sleep? The guard tower. They'll think me mad. They don't know. I'll pay them. Yes. He's here! Help! It's running. What a clown, man. <laughs> I knew you would come. Where is Jacopo? So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. I'm sorry, I had to come to this too. So which part of your fantastic attack? On him! So which part? I'm out. The guards can't parkour like me? I'm a legend in these streets. You're not allowed up here. Down now. Oh, he didn't jump in the haystack like I wanted to. That would have been smooth. It's okay. We still made it. And our next mission is over here. Salute, Ezio. Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. Whoa. You do well to clear them out before approaching. I can do that. That's here for the information. The town crier. Ah, he's up there somewhere, huh? Of honor and romance. There is nothing the killer brings but evil and death to all he visits. Let's go up here. Let me change to my knives here. There's a guy right there. I'm gonna take him out. Uh, let's go this way. Cross. You must repent. Repent and seek forgiveness for your wicked way. Why are you all the way up there, sir? I don't want to go all the way up there. Can I jump? There we go. Guy has a lot to say, huh? Have died 
and protected you from his evil. Men who sought to save these lands, to beautify them. Join me in prayer, my children, so that together we might stand against this darkness. Kidir, no. oh heaven, and I will speak. And here, O oh earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain. My speech distill as the dew. As ring drops. I'm sorry, buddy. By the light of the Lord, be cleansed. Oh. <laughs> he was still preaching oh, as he was dying, as he was falling. Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. Hey, that's May your body and mind at last be still. At least he is killing him respectfully, though. Maestro, it's with fear in my heart that I write this letter. The prophet has arrived. I feel it. The birds don't act as they should. They swirl around the location. I see them from my tower. I will not attend our meeting as asked. I can't expose myself like this, or the demon might find me. That's Forgive me. me, for I am only listening to my voice. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Guide me, Brother A. Sorry, Maestro. Had to do what I gotta do. All right. We gotta go this way so apparently this game's frame rate like i i was bringing it up in the last episode like when you go into the map the frame rate drops crazy what are you doing and apparently that's a known like bug for the uh pc version of the game what is this I tracked one of the Potsy's benefactors to a farm due east of San Gimignano. Kill him and we'll all be safe. Okay. I can do that. There's a side quest? A random side quest I just picked up? Uh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I swear, some of these guards have eyes in the back of their head. Which way did he go? I don't know, but you're not gonna be able to find me now. Okay, I'm gonna run all the way over here. I need to find whoever this is. Oh, restricted area. Not good. Ooh. Uh, throwing knife. You are. Please, God, let me leave. Please, God, let me leave. Who is killing the sheep? Gatso will get murdered from the. Kill the target. Oh, he's right below me. Is that you? Or is it the person down there? I think it was you. Okay. Bye. Is there a horse? There sure was. That was kind of cool. Use the smoke bomb and then take off with the horse. Okay, now we need to go all the way over here. I wish I could go back and get some ammunition. I wish there was a faster way to get into town sometimes. The course is fast, but it's not that fast. Over here, Ezio. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Oh, I bet. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. 
Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like, I like it. it. With the help of Mario's mercenaries, subdue the villa guards and kill Francisco Saviati. I have poison too. Okay. I guess we're going in. Hi. Y'all ready to fight? There you go, Ezio. My guy. Yep, we're just going straight in, guys. Oh, got him right in the back. <laughs> Love it. Oh, he's going to run away. That's kind of smart, actually. Nah, we're not going to let him do that, though. Oh, wait. Can I hire you guys, too? We'll meet again, I'm sure. Oh, wait. What? And then you guys are going back? No. Oh, I just messed up. <laughs> I thought I could hire. I thought I could have both of them. Be up here, Stolto. Doesn't work like that. So now I only have these three lousy men. Oops. Well, that's fine. Hello. Where's my... Oh. They're coming, though. Yes! This is great, Ezio. Alright, we need to get in. Oh, there's a guy up here. I can't follow you there. Not you! What? I warned you to stay away, assassin! You should have listened! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa! Which way did he go? What the he actual heck? Put that dog down. Well, my men will beat him up. Men, prepare yourselves. Yeah, I just need the to assassin get it. has arrived. I need to find a way to open the gates. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, come on in. My men are coming. Oh jeez. <laughs> you Templars. Are we singing the same song? You think a few mercenary will skip? They should. It's quite a pl Where is Jacopo? He knows Not you smart. for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. And you have spouting nonsense while you send these other men to die. Yes, he is still talking, bro. <laughs> bro, that dude came out in his underwear and got destroyed. One swing, I said, oh, nah. <laughs> Let me get him. <laughs> Oh man. I thought the first game was fun combat wise, but geez. You have so many things that you can use. So many tricks up your sleeve. This game is great. Jacopo. Brother, as you've no doubt heard by now, he hunts us in search of retribution. We should never have consented, never have conspired. Nope. But what's done is done. Yep, you messed and up. So I have called a meeting with Maestro three nights from now to ask for sanctuary, either in Venezia or with him or in Roma. We will assemble at the church in San Gimignano and travel to the meeting location at the appointed hour. I urge you to attend. Remaining here would be suicide. True. The assassin is relentless. Mm -hmm. We cannot hope to stop him on our own. But perhaps, aided by Maestro, we might buy ourselves the time to form a proper response. 
Guard yourself well. Firenze may be lost to us, but it does not have to mean our end. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Your brother, Jacobo. You know, the thing about it is, like... You know what I'm not understanding is... Why these guys are so dumb. But I guess I'm not the father of understanding, so... Oh, while I'm here, let me do this. Smoke bombs. Ciao, signore. E mention me to your amici. Yeah, let's just do the main mission. He's above me, I think. Yeah. Here we are. Jacopo, we're, you're done. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. A smart. Oh crap. These guys are gonna start singing. Uh give him money. Please, friend. Easy way. Just need to follow him. What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me this much I know. What? I hope this isn't a trap. He might know I'm following him. Is he an entertainer of some kind? I can't follow him up here? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, he's going down this street right now. I hope this isn't a trap. Hmm. This is interesting so far. What are you and the others planning, Jacopo? I saw something somewhere where people were saying the tailing missions suck, but this isn't too bad. I think this is kind of fun. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. That was a good catch because I was probably about to jump right into him. Oh, shoot. Forgot about these guys. Okay. I thought that was going to make me fail a mission. <laughs> I thought I was going to fail a mission because of that. It must be all the Yo, my heart sank, bro. My heart literally sank right there. Huh. Oh, crap. He's kind of getting away now. There is no need for this aggression, amigo. Where are you going? Yeah. 
Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Don't get seen, don't get seen. I think the worst part about tailing missions like this is if there's no checkpoint, doing all of this over again would be really annoying. The guards behind him hasn't seen me, so. I'm just trying to be really patient. Oh, those guards are following him now. Is he gonna go in there? That seems like a place that he would go inside. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely is. Okay. Hey, stack time. Oh God, I'm losing, I'm losing them. <gasps> How many oh. men are responsible for my father's death? He vanished. Without being detected? Okay. I think I see a, a way. Oh, okay. Sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More mm -hmm. like the voice of cowardice. You don't want to talk, Signor Barbarigo? Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament? We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Is he gonna kill him? You ask you to account for your failures. You make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's alright. I do. He's gonna kill him. Oh! No! Please, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? Wow. These guys are heartless. I can fix this. <laughs> Spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Oh, <gasps> he knows I'm here. Oh no. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I have double blades. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen, Don. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Wait, I have to kill him? Look at this guy. I've never fought a guy like that. They have lances now? I will just go away. Oh god. I don't know the timing for those Lance guys. Hey, just just wait a second, bro. Let me kill these guys, then I'll kill you. Oh. 
This guy is literally suffering over there. Oh, they're hitting each other. This guy is literally suffering and I'm just over here fighting these little guards. I can't get the uh, the timing down on that Lance guy though. This big guy is kind of cooking me too. Oh my god. Screw it. Sword's coming out. Oh god. Come on. Ah, oh, finally I got him. God, I couldn't counter that. It wouldn't let me. You can't dodge now, though. What? I should have got that. Maybe I can't counter him. Nice. Sorry. Vai amico. Libero da fardelli e paure. Requiesca di pace. Well, we put him out of his misery. Dang. They were just going to let that guy suffer. That's so messed up. There's a glyph here. Power doesn't die. It's passed on. Find his inheritance? What does it want me to do? Oh, I see. Oh, look. A piece of Eden. <laughs> I like how it's just photoshopped in there. Houdini beginning the Chinese water torture cell escape. Isn't this when he died? Oh, there it is. Gandhi during the salt march, 1930. Come on, boy, Gandhi. Oh, there it is right here. That's a lot of glyphs, guys. Jeez. Provided you don't lose a full square. Oh, so if you don't lose a full square, you regenerate health? I didn't know that. Interesting. Not another time skip. We've been at this city for a while. When are we moving on? <laughs> the Patsy are dead. Every one of them. I must admit. I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio. Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They're already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you Venice, leave us, we're going. I have something for Let's you. Let's go. A gift. Ooh. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. Oh, nice. But be warned. It will not grant you immunity from the law. Okay. That's fine. Que la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. 
fortune favor your blade. I have the Medici cap. I have the Medici cape. Let's go. Awesome. While wearing the Medici cape, nor notoriety will not increase in Florence or Tuscany. <gasps> cool. So I can pretty much walk around here without bothering people then. Or people bothering me. Objective. If I go to that? Oh my god, I landed right on top of that guy. I said boom. Boom. <laughs> That's hilarious. The trajectory of that jump was nuts. <laughs> I think the game wants me to fast travel. I think that's where I'm going, right? Oh, we're going to Leonardo's house. I lied. Leonardo. Leonardo. Where is he? It is Piace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. Whoa. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. He moved. Let's go. My boy Leonardo moving it on up in the world. Went from Florence to Venice. Because I'm going to start doing all the glyphs here in uh, Florence. And then we'll move over to the other cities too. Tuscany and such. Okay, here's another glyph. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. I've already lived it. Infinite knowledge. Its open mouth delivers the kiss of death. Is it the rocket launcher here? Whatever that was. Leading the young to their end. Members of the 2nd Infantry Division advanced under machine gun fire into the outskirts of Brest, France. 1944. Um, what am I looking for here? Oh, here it is. It's this right here, right? Union troops in formation, Beaufort, South Carolina. The flames from its throat poke out their eyes. Oh, right here. The monster did not come from man. The first pictorial representation of a gun. Of a gun. Oh, I see it. It's right here. That was like really, really faint. All right, we got another one. So can we, can we play what we have right now? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't tell me much. All right, here's the next one. You see? Do you see what's going on? Instruments of power. The power they wielded cut down their enemies. I'm guessing swords? I don't see swords in this one. I see one here. That guy had a sword on him. This one too. No. That one's a no. Uh, I think this one. This one. Definitely this one. This one. I don't see one there. I don't think. See one there, I think. Yeah. 
Piece of Eden 25, sword. In their hands, the wise lean on a great force. Huh? I don't really get that one. Egypt. Unless it means like canes. Or something like it. That. Not that one. I don't think that one either. Maybe this one? Yeah. Staff. Staff. Canes. Okay. There's another piece to the puzzle. The truth. We'll find out soon. Here's the next one. Y'all might hate me for this comparison. But this game is kind of like the Breath of the Wild of Assassin's Creed games. Does that make sense? Like the impact that this game had on the series was huge. And also in gaming too. We were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted. The web of history traps the good and the evil take what is not theirs. Brothers. All right, brother. What do we got here? Actually, I, I I don't know. What am I looking at? Oh? Is this supposed to go like this? Maybe? Yeah, that... That looks right. Yeah, for sure. What? There it is. Oh my god. And Satan said unto Cain, Swear unto me by thy throat, and if thou tell it, thou shalt die. Do I gotta do another one? Oh no. I'm not good at these. And then this needs to be here. But then when I spin this... Actually... Right here? No. Right there. Come on. Yes! And all these things were done in secret. Dude, this is so hard. I've been sitting here spinning this thing for a minute. I gotta do another one of those? <laughs> Ubisoft, what is going on? All right. I think I'm doing pretty good. Right there. And then this one. All right, now let's work our way back in. Here, yes. And Cain said, truly I am Mahan, the master of this great secret. Oh, another one. They're blowing me with these, bro. Oh my God. Come on. This has got to be it. Close. Close, 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 close. Just need to get this right. And then maybe this. Yes. Cool. Wherefore, Cain was called Master Mahan, and he gloried in his wickedness. No more, please. There's still more stuff I Behold, need to do? The mark of Cain. And Satan said unto Cain... Okay. A mark of Cain. We got it. I need to find out this truth. Look at this. This is all we got so far. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So I'm back here at the villa. I need to get my money. But while I'm here, I think I'm going to check and see what's here. Knife belt upgrade. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And then... 
Armor. I'll take those. Weapons, what do we got? Anything new? Doesn't seem like it. Small weapons. Sultan's knife sounds good. Yeah, that actually looks really good. Why not try it out? Ammunition. Let's get some more throwing knives. I thought that would give me more smoke bombs too, but I guess not. Anything at the mer art merchant? Any new paintings or anything? No? Okay. Well, let me go get my money. I feel like I spent 20 minutes trying to solve those glyphs. <laughs> Just that one glyph, man. That thing had me on edge. All right, let's collect. Look at all my money. Jeez. Oh, I should give the feathers to Claudia. I haven't done that yet. Or to Maria, sorry. My mom. Ooh. She keeps the feathers that I collected. I got a bunch of them. Oh, they make the value go up too? Nice. Everything makes the value go up. All right. So there's a glyph up here. Let's get it. There's only one here at the villa. And then I can move over to Tuscany. Oh, this isn't hard, man. Keep on seeking and you will find. First plucked from a tree guarded by a snake, its powers perform miracles. Then worn across the ages, torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red. And reconstruct the timeline. Oh, you want me to do some big brain stuff out here. All right, this. You want me to go from prehistory all the way up? Prometheus, look at that. I don't think I have to do it in order, so I'll just do this. This. Of course, this one. This one. I think. Maybe that. Maybe the first image, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that one was kind of hard too. Not as bad as those turning the things. Hey, what's going on here? Hello? They took it. Oh, I found it. The shroud. They took it. Okay, guys, so I'm back from glyph hunting. And let me go ahead and show you guys something real quick that I noticed that I didn't notice when I first started looking for glyphs. So you can actually back out of them and check them out later. So I basically have these ones stored so I can come back in at any time and pretty much solve them when I feel like it. So I'm glad that I was able to go to the locations, discover the glyph, and now I can, you know, store them all up until I get all of these ones over here too. And then I can just solve them all one day. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> so much easier. So, so, so much easier. Saves time too. So let's go on over to the mountains and go to the next area of this game. Shall we? The game that had the best horses in this generation was Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption's horses were so amazing. Like the physics were amazing. They're not too bad in this game either though. Not too shabby. They're definitely not on the level of Red Dead Redemption though. Leonardo! Ezio? Hey! Luck. I uh, 
ever run into a bit of trouble? We see that. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Ah. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. De, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. The planes! <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. <laughs> no way! What the heck? What in the Batman? I'ma have wings? Drive Leonardo's carriage towards Venice. Oh, I thought we were actually gonna drive it. Such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. Uh oh. <gasps> What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! Uh oh. Oh, I guess we are driving. They're trying to climb on board. Knock <gasps> them off. Uh, how do I do that? Here to unbalance enemies. Oh, I see. Ezio, someone's on top. Get them off. Oh! Or I can smash them into roadside objects to dislodge them. This is cool. I like this mission. Bye. Uh, Watch out. The don't want to hurt the ca the carriage here. This is cool as heck, man. Oh no, don't hit anything. Uh, oh, that dude's gone. Oh, good luck. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is actually really fun. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. It's gonna be very rough. Okay, get this guy off. Get this guy off. What the heck? He just despawned. Oh! Oh! Yikes! God! Ah. Don't hit the fire! Don't hit the fire! I swear that horse ran into that, uh... Oh, they go right through the little roadblocks. What the heck? <laughs> that looks so silly. Oh. Uh... Hey, I know how to drive. I'm pretty good. Is there a way to slow the carriage down, though? Whoa. Whoa, get that guy off. Yikes. Ah, that's not good. Oh my God, my horses. I know. We're about to die though. I'm sorry, Leonardo. I'm trying. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. Aha! Guess I gotta fight these guys now. Come on. Got him. I just need to take him out. All right, come on, let's fight. Oh! Oh! I'm glad I got dodged. Look at that. Nice. 
Take him out. He's close to dying. Oh, what the heck? How'd he counter me? There we go. Good job. No, I can't get him. All right, let's try this. Hidden blade time. <laughs> Disgusting. Come on. <laughs> nice try. I could have disarmed him, but you know. Hidden blades are a little bit more fun. Should I get a horse? This area looks really pretty. I guess we'll catch up with Leonardo soon, hopefully. Races unlocked. Carriage races? Because that'd be kind of cool. Destination contracts unlocked. Courier assignments unlocked. More beat up events? My favorite thing to do. Where are we at? Where are we at? I want no part of this. Whoa. It's so gray here. Four and four Lee. We're not in Venice yet. Well, let's go get this viewpoint first. There's a tomb here. We should do the tomb. But uh, viewpoint first, then tomb. Hello, peeps. This is giving me Assassin's Creed 1 vibes. He must be late. Go up? She must be beautiful. Will you not go up, Ezio? What's going on? Okay. There's some treasure down there. <gasps> More treasure to collect. My favorite thing to do. Oop, wrong button. Oh, this place looks nice. Let me get this treasure since we're here. Oh, wow. Codex page is here. Let's go on in. Move, 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 move. Oh, pickpocket guy. How you doing? You want it? I have Where you going, sir? Yes. Give me the big bucks. Oh, we're about to do that double assassination here. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Did that guy run? Yeah, he did. Nice, a codex page. Let's see what kind of art they have here. Ooh. That'll help the villa out. The birth of Venus. We should also get the treasure maps. Here we go. Even the mountains. A pleasure. Oh, look at the value went up even more. The villa is going to be worth so much money by the end of this game. Uh, there's another viewpoint right here. Can you not jump and get that for some reason? That divot looks like I can grab it, but I can't. This one I can grab. Interesting. Oh, look how pretty this place is, though. 
It might look really sad and murky, but it's still pretty. There's a lot of water here. Let's go to that tomb. Right over here. Move. Come, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. There's a feather up there. All right. Well, I, I have a guide for that, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. it over here the tomb oh right there nice let's go in these are so cool everyone was telling me to get these tombs quick they're like you want that armor as fast as possible because apparently the altair armor is op so I'm gonna try my best to get it as quick as possible. Just knock out these tombs. Let's go this way. Uh, up. Ah, go back. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to run. That's some nice detail on uh, Ezio when he's wet. Oh, nope. Don't fall. Oh, look at this. All right, let's try this. Piece of treasure up here, of course. Oh, nice. Looks like we need to go. Actually, don't know. Maybe down here? Maybe... Hmm... Maybe we need to go into the water. Over here, nothing? Oh yeah, look. We have to dive. Oh, nice. That's why you dive. Oh, wait. No. Oof. Move the joystick in the wrong direction. Oops. Jeez, you're all over the place right now, Ezio. You're all over the place. Hold on. We got this. Here we go. There you go. All right. Let's get this. There it is. Easy. Oh, there's a guy right here. <laughs> He's not about to have a good time right now. Let me tell you. He's going to hate me for this. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I just had to watch his body drop into the water. I knew it was coming. 
Oh, this guy's dead too. Unfortunately. Oh, wait. Oh. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's so great. Okay, we can't go up there. Can do this, though. Uh oh. You know what? Give me that real quick. Bye. Thanks for the weapon. Ooh. Sorry, dude. I'll take that, though. Ooh. Yeah. What a way to go out. Is there a treasure? I heard something kind of like shine. Oh, here. Oh. Well, look at this. this side now got to do this in a specific amount of time Ooh. nice all right good work good work what do we need to do here oh can I just drop down Oh, I see what I need to do. Oh my God. Okay, let's go back up. I need to go across this like, like here. There it is. I forgot that I could climb on these shields. There we go. Perfect. Oh, more guys. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> Sorry, man. No one's down here? Okay. Oh. Oop. I wanted to do a haystack kill. That would have been my first one. Dang it. It's okay. That's it, we're out. I found the burial chamber. I hit this. There it is. Am I timed? Uh oh. I think I'm timed. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Dang. I didn't even really get to learn it either. Let's try it again. There we go. 
Go up here. Go right here. Go up. Run here. Bam. Bam. And we're in. Woo! Sweet. First try. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Another piece. That means we have two more, right? Isn't this three? Or isn't this four? I don't even remember how many we needed. We needed six, right? Didn't we have... Don't we have four now? Oh, I can go back out if I want to. That was kind of cool how he did that. All right, it should show me. Oh, that's where I'm coming out of. Nice. Oh, I guess it doesn't tell me how many more I need. Jeez. Okay. Okay, guys. So I did all of the glyphs. I collected all the feathers in this area. I didn't do all the side quests and stuff. I did a few of the side quests. Not all of them, though. And I collected just about all the treasure except the two right next to the mission, which I'm going to grab right now. But I think we're pretty good with this area. I'll come back in the near future and I'll clean up those side quests. But for now, I kind of want to continue on with the story. I'm done with collectibles and side stuff for now. And I know my armor is damaged. I see that. But I'm too far away from any stores to go repair it. Sadly. Okay, Leonardo's there. So I'm going to go this way. And grab this chest. I have so much money, it's ridiculous. Like, at the villa right now, I have like $5,000. Or 5,000 florins, sorry. Just chilling, waiting for me. Ezio, here. Over here. I'm coming, Leo. I'm coming. That was my last treasure. I think Venice is going to be the last area of the game, though. So once I get Ezio, all those here. viewpoints here. and glyphs and feathers there, we're done. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. Facts. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Let's Where's go. Your pass? What pass? Wait, what? You have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh... Nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance. What? Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. What the heck happened? Oh, look Don't at this lady. Stand there. I need help. Well, why does she need help? Well, how did she even get there? I have to help her? Wait, how did she even get to... What? That's so random. Oh, we can dive in the water? I'm gonna go help this damsel in distress. Alright, how do I... Oh, I had to do it while I was next to the boat. What? Where? Right here? It's not letting me do anything on this boat. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have to row. Do we have to go this way? 
Oh, okay. This isn't so, this isn't so bad. Time your strokes to match the extension of the order to improve your speed. I think I'm doing all right. Here we are. Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. Oh. How'd you get here anyway? I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. My man's got Riz. I'm Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. A pass? I'm all ears. I would hope a pass. Let me read about her. Who is she? Katerina, a countess by marriage. Wait, what? She's married? Katerina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Forley. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Katerina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. Oh, she's a girl boss. In 1473, when she was 10 years old, Katerina became engaged to Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. The Pope's nephew? They consummated their marriage when she was 14. Oh, that's pretty young. Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. But the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo, gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Orly. When the Pope died, looters sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel Santa Angelo and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. Jesus! In 1484, she moved with her family to Forli, paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband. The Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forli and Imola. She wasted no time, winning the favor of nearby rulers, revising the tax system, and training the militia herself. What in the heck? <laughs> hey, make her an assassin at this point. Although she advocated peace, when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies, wives, and children in punishment. Okay, that's horrible. While Forley was under attack by Cesar Borgia, the Pope's son, she sent the Pope a letter that had been rubbed with plague sores. But ultimately, Forley and Caterina fell to Borgia in 1499. Caterina was captured and sent to Rodrigo Borgia in Rome, who kept her in prison for a year and is rumored to have R-worded her alongside his son. I almost said it. When she emerged from the Vatican, her hair had turned white. Exiled to Florence, Katerina died of pneumonia in 1509. That's horrible. Okay, see, this Pope is horrible, bro. I told you, this Pope, he, he did all kinds of nasty stuff on top of like, yeah, he wasn't really great with women. Let's just say that. I almost got demonetized there. We almost said the R word. Yeah, you just have to time this. This is kind of cool. Boat controls low key. Wish there was more boat missions. Oh, oh, what the? <laughs> I didn't know I could jump from that. Oops. My bad. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katerina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Oh. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, mm -hmm. it would be my pleasure to welcome you. Oh. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Sheesh. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known. <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. Yeah, she came over here and girl bossed it up. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. 
<laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sounds like my kind of lady. I like this guy. <laughs> Leo, hey, you saw how Leonardo looked at him. He was like, okay, my boy. <laughs> he said, that's my dog. That's my dog. Oh, we're back. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing is quite a strong word. Then oh, God. Why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have uh, side effects. <laughs> Awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Like subject sec 16. of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors, which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. Right. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. Okay. Ooh. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So, some people were saying that Sean gets better. So, I hope Sean does get better. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Oh, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as 16 says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. This is the character y'all said gets better? I hope he really does. What are you up to? What am I up to? Who are you? My mum? I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence. Maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kubla Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what, I reckon we could find out. Oh, I nice. I think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. I'm actually curious after hearing that. Hold on. Marco Polo? How'd you get mixed up in all this? Most assassins, Desmond, are like you, yeah? They're born into the Brotherhood. Not me, though. Oh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there. You know, a sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No, I found the Templars first, actually. Abstergo is a big company. It's too big, which means there were slip-ups. You know, like that mess they're having right now with the fluoride. Only I was tracking this stuff years ago. I must have been, what, 14, 15? You knew Abstergo was a Templar company? No. Not at first. I just knew they were up to no good, and I figured maybe I could do something about it. So I started digging up everything I could on the company, posting stuff to news groups, trying to spread the word, looking for people who might have stories to tell. You must have gotten Abstergo's attention. Well, fortunately, I got Rebecca's first. Otherwise, I'd probably be at the bottom of a river. Yikes. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to warn me, told me I was messing with the wrong kind of people. And what did you do? I thought you were mental. But now you know better. Yeah, now I know you're just a bit mental. Long story short, I saved his ass multiple times. Should have dropped him and let Abstergo have their way. This is <laughs> you trying to be all badass. So what happened? I have a gift, Desmond. I have a gift for seeing things, making connections. Like your regal vision, you know? 
only useful. We offered him oh. a place with us. Yes, you did, yeah. The alternative? A life on the run from the most powerful organization on the planet. I decided to prolong my life. I'm eccentric like that, so I signed up. I've been doing research and analysis for them ever since. Best part is, I love it. What's this for? I'm keeping tabs on the other teams. Other teams? The Templars have been hunting down the pieces of Eden using the map they got from you at Abstergo. Luckily, Lucius provided us with a copy as well, allowing us to pursue them. And how's that working out? So far, so good. If they find even one of those pieces, we're gonna have problems. Oh, you're picking up on Max. that, are you? That is why we're training you. Once you've acquired the necessary skills, we'll be able to send you into the field. And what about you? Why aren't you out there? I'm not out there, because my expertise lies in other areas. And to be honest, I prefer it that way. But make no mistake, Desmond. I'm an assassin through and through. I've killed before. I expect to kill again. Whoa. It's just that I prefer not to. Okay. All right, we got a little bit of backstory of Sean. I like it. I will say that I'm mad that they didn't continue this plot with the modern day Desmond. I heard it got scrapped. Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. Thanks. It's definitely getting easier. I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it means <laughs> we assassinate people. Right. Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. Killing's no, bad. Yet, but what do you think all this is for? Hey, you think Lucy is giving you Ezio's ability so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians? What are you, Desmond, a vegan? You'd be the first vegan assassin in history. <laughs> Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will. Hmm. Good point. Is that all Rebecca had to say? Sorry, I didn't mean to make it into a whole big thing. That's cool. So, how's she treating you? The translation software is still a bit laggy. You're probably catching the odd bit of Italian. Sorry about that. No worries. Abstergo's machine wasn't perfect either. Oh, the there's a lore reasoning for that. Big plus. There's a lore reason for the subtitles too. What the freak? <laughs> That's cool. All right, you. I'm still mad that y'all didn't put the subtitles in the first game though. We didn't forget that. All right. Just saying. Is that all she had to say? That was cool to hear though. Uh, where did Lucy go though? I completely lost her. She, oh, there she is. This place is pretty big. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, nice. Okay. Come on. Now like a tomb. Hit? Open your eyes, Desmond. She said, open your eyes. You there. Whoa. There. Get him. Templars? Whoa, what uh, the heck? Lucy, I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. Oh, this is light work. Oh, looks like my boy can keep up with the assassins. You see this? We got that Ezio power. So, 
How am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. This is how amazing I am. I wonder how modern day Assassin's Creed would even work though. Alright, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. Oh? I think he knew about the vault. My question is, the so they don't know about sessions are missing. the Altair Chronicles game. There. After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Am I done? Or is there another sensor somewhere? Oh. Whoa, what the heck? Random horse? That should be it. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Uh-oh. Yo, Lucy Cross Desmond? Huh? Is there a ship there, guys? Seems like it. I kinda like it. Whoa. Altair's memories are... Is that Maria? Oh, that was Maria. Where all these horses come from? What the hell? What is this? Where am I? Oh my God. Altair. Not even in the animus. This is crazy. Passed out. Just having some kind of weird. That must be his target. Maria. Running after her again, huh? Is that his target, or is he working with her? Seems like he's following her. Girl. Really? That's what I hate about following people while doing parkour. All right, where did she go? Wait, how come this music is kind of fire? Did she go up here? Oh, wait, there she is. There we go. It's kind of funny. Oh, I thought I could kill these guys. What? 
I gotta climb to the top. Mm, let's go this way. There we go. Assassin's Creed 1 with Assassin's Creed 2 mechanics? Let's go. Where's that remake? might have to shimmy on this way. Yes! What's her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. She looks hot! together in this so this has to be the after the events of bloodlines then because in bloodlines they weren't together yet they were just kind of like friends quote unquote wait a second why aren't i following Elta here I'm stuck here with maria oh shit that must be this is one weird dream Um, 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 sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were, hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right, I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. Okay, so who's the kid? Who's their kid? We have to know. Who is Altair and Maria's kid? Girl or boy? How many? Can I talk to Lucy? Yeah. Hey. Uh, hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us just gone. Dang. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Aww. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. I just, I just made a connection. I just made a freaking connection here. Guys, I made a connection. Desmond, Lucy, Altair, Maria. Bro, what the heck? Really, I'm fine, I promise. Sorry, Desmond, I've got to file these reports. Uh, Sean, talk to me. All right, no one wants to talk to me. Cool. We got to go into the animus then. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like history is repeating itself almost, right? Isn't that wild? Sure. 
Are we in Venice now? Ooh. Ooh. Another time skip. Venice looks cool. Look at this place. This is my new playground. Dude, it's huge. Wow, look at that. It looks so pretty. Whoa, Leonardo. We're here. We're here. We're here. Reveal useful information on your map by visiting viewpoints. I know. What's up, Leo? How you doing? Messer Da Vinci. Yes. Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Senor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Leonardo, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? This place is beautiful. Look at it. Come, I will show you her wonders. I've always wanted to go Our to Venice. First stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? Wow. And her clock tower, magnifico. Very pretty. There's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is. There is. Guards. You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. No, no, stop, stop. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. That's funny. Y'all remember how I said my brother and I have Italian names and I was like, his is going to come up eventually in this game. Well, there it was. <laughs> it actually mine showed up too. Kinda, 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 kinda. If you go into the database, I think it was in documents. It was in documents. Oh, letters, letters, letters. Mine's kind of right here. I mean, Ramundo is close, but not it. It's close. It's almost there. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have, I left my money with my bags. Bro, I got money. Let me tell you. Hey. Hey, oh. And your step, Corleone. Oh, you're kind of cute. But hey. That was my money, though. I didn't lose any money. She definitely took money from me, though. Or something. I don't know what she took. And here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally, I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. Mm. Bajanate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. Oh, oh stop. This is creating laws on the spot. That's crazy. What a democracy. This is Leonardo's place. Looks like the other place. And now I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see it is perfect. As if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. 
That's sweet. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another Codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Ah. Di nulla. Ah! That's the first time! That is the first time! Bro! Every time it was Leonardo that hugged Ezio. And this is the first time that Ezio hugged him back. He was like, alright. Bring it here, brother. Bring it here. Oh, oh my god. Babarigo. Titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. Oh, nice. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. As does, you know, opposition. Max. Oh, you sound smart. And the vegetables from Mama. How rude you are. But already. Oh, those are vegetables from Mama? This awesome place for you to explore and practice your skills. Santa Maria de Frari. I've marked it on your map. Alright, I'll check it out. That was wholesome though. Oh my god. I love how platonic their relationship is. They're just buddies. It's adorable. All right, so let's get up here. And I love how it started because it started. Oh, my chest is full. I got so much money there. All right, I need to go get that money. If I can keep getting more money. But it started off so like one-sided or like Leonardo seemed to like Ezio and wanted to be friends with him. And Ezio's like, uh, who is this boy? There can only be one pretty boy. And now eventually we got to here. Where they hug and everything's okay. Life is good. Life is great. This is our first viewpoint in Venice. Yeah, this is definitely the prettiest place we've been to so far. Why is there so many viewpoints? Like, I feel like I have another like 30 viewpoints. Is there going to be 30 viewpoints in Venice alone? Or is there another map we're missing? Okay, I think I need to do this Templar layer thing here. Let's try it out. <laughs> Into the church, I'm here. Whoa. Look at this place. What? Look at this. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have some fun. Where do we begin? Ah, this place is beautiful. Let's go up this way. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I gotta follow the birds like last time. <gasps> yes. All right, we can go over here. Jump back. Cool. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Let me... Oh, wait. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There you go. Wow. This place is so... Beautiful. What the? No way. How did that happen? All right, we're back. Let's do that. Up across here. Feel the swing right there. Wow. All the detail. They went nuts on this church here, man. With the design. Jump across. Did I fall down? Yeah, it looks like it. Whoa! Ben, now I have a way back up in case I fall. Good. All right, we can't go that way. I can go straight across though. Climb up here. Maybe I need to swing. Let's go like right here. Yeah, there we go. And swing across. No, no, no. Ezio. There you go, buddy. There, now we're not falling. Cool. That on there. Whoa. Careful. No, 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 no. Swing. Um, yeah, we can make that. Go down. There we go. Another one. Another checkpoint. Whoever was on the Ubisoft team that decided on that, they were smart. Those little checkpoints. That was a good idea. Okay. Let's go up here. There we go. We're doing great. Come on. There you go. Swing over there. Perfect. Okay, what are we doing here? Are we going that way or are we going this way? I think that way, Ezio. There's birds over there. Nice. Okay. Swing across. Swing across. More birds. Open the door. Oh. Oh. Got this, buddy. What does this door do? I could have jumped down. I'm stupid. Whoa. Templar stuff. Ooh. Is it just money? Oh, let me grab this. There's no way that's it, right? So much cash. And he's just gonna leave? Can I go back in there? I feel like I missed something. Because I feel like there was another way we could go. Okay, we are back. So I went around and got the viewpoints. I can't go here yet. This is blocked off. I think I need to continue the story a little bit because 
this area is kind of like shaky. Like I can't get to this viewpoint because I think I just need to learn a skill or something like that. There's just no way to get up on that tower. It's weird. Maybe a mission has you start off on the top. I don't have, I have no idea, but let's get into this mission here. Oop. I forgot I was by the water about to die. We can go this way. I think I love this part of the game a lot. This map is super, super cool. Not only is it beautiful, but it's so fun to traverse. There's so many like nooks and crannies. Hey, yo, come on, man. That joke is so annoying. Is he going to, what's he doing? Oh, he's going to jump up. I hate these guys. They give you a lot of money though, but I hate them. Bro, really? Bro. Oh my goodness. If this guy. Oh my God. He's even more annoying than the other ones. Bro, come in here. Oh my God. Grab him. Thank you. Dude, you are so annoying. Anyways, I learned some new things, by the way. If there's some guards that pop up in front of me. Oh, wait, here. I'm going to test it out. Actually, no, I'm not going to go over there. Uh, I'm going to lose. Oh, I almost died. Okay, we're going to try it here right now. So, check this out. First of all, I had no idea I could do this. I can throw dust in their face or dirt in their face. I think that's super cool. I can literally pick up dirt and throw it in their face. Of course, we can disarm. We know that. Oh, there's another thing. Oh, the taunting. Okay, so I learned taunting is really, really good. So, you know, when everything's like slow, like right now and no one's attacking me. Instead, I can taunt and then go right into a counter. It forces them to basically attack me. So it kind of speeds up the combat a little bit. Like that. I think that's really cool. Stop. Actually, use your hidden blade. And if you're really good at timing, it's so satisfying. Come on. Fight me. Oh, they're not doing it now. It's not aggroing them. Oh, it did that time. There it is. I love it. I wish I would have learned this uh, earlier in the game. But that's good to know for the next game. All right, let's go to the mission, though. I just wanted to show that off. I'm learning things. I'm still learning things, and we're this far into the game. Now, the game did tell you about taunt, but I don't think it really explained, like, the importance of taunt, if that makes sense. Like, what you could really use it for. But it did teach me taunt, though. I remember that vividly. I actually... Oh, I know. I'm I'm wasting a lot of medicine and just doing dumb stuff right now. Oh crap. Okay. Well, if you're in a if you're in a bad spot like this, there's one thing that you can do. Smoke bombs. <laughs> I don't think they saw me. You have so many tools in your arsenal that you can use. And I'm not going to lie, it's, it is a little overwhelming at times. There are times where I'm like, man, I feel like I have too many tools. Like in, in Assassin's Creed 1, it's pretty straightforward. Like you got a couple of things that you can do and you kind of just do them over and over again, right? But in this game, the sky's the limit, which I love, by the way. I don't think that's a bad thing. It's not negative at all. It's just been really fun to learn.
I'm going to grab this treasure box. Oh, how come he didn't dive? That was weird. I hit A while I was in, in the air. I don't know what was up with that. How best to get inside? I'll scale the wall and... Oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. I need to find another way. Maybe them. Oh, that girl's back. Don't die. Oh, she's good. Oh, wait. An arrow to the knee. What in the Skyrim? Hey, I, need I remember you. We need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. No. Uh oh. Babani, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. Yeah, there's a lot of water around here, girl. Her name is Rosa. I like that name. Who wants to die first? Uh. Do we have to kill them? Okay. Sounds good to me. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Come on. Oh wait, you don't have a weapon or something. What's going on there? What happened with that? I'm just gonna throw him. Bro, help me out. Oh. He's dead. Don't even trip. Oh wait, more? We gotta fight these guys too? Still out. Oh, he ran. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I'm mad that they keep showing me all these these women who are powerful women, but I can't play as them. There ain't no women assassins. What's up with that? Quickly, they're getting closer. Like, don't be teasing me with all these powerful women. And then be like, oh, but you can't play as them. You can't move that fast, girl. You hurt. You gotta take it slow. I mean, she's trying though. She's limping around. This guy tried. I actually want to try using the poison. I haven't used the poison yet. I should try that out soon. I'd be better off on my own. Oh, word. You're better off on your own. What about all these people? I'm helping you fight. Look at this. Look how good I'm doing. She's better off on her own, though, guys. What? Yeah, you've said that like a billion times, girl. Bro, she thinks she's a girl ba boss to the max. Okay, can I algorithm this guy? Let me get that. Thank you, sir. Oh, <laughs> bro, Ezio, Ezio is the man, bro. What are you doing? Hurry up! The way he pushed him. <laughs> you can't tell me this man doesn't have Riz. Get your hands off. Move. Are these your friends? Are we good? Are we safe now? Yeah, we gotta help her out. Oh. Never did catch your name. Okay. Honorato Rosa, I'm Ezio. No. Wait, she knows. Right. Now is not the time for small talk. Are you blind? 
All right, then, girl. I mean, is she the new love interest? Because, I mean... Mmm. I like me some ships. Rosa's been wounded. Us are here. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. Careful. Have a good one. Go. I'll deal with the guards. Oh God. More archers, man. There he is. He's dead. Kill them, Ezio, quickly. Okay, I gotta. I gotta run around. That never gets old. Oh, wait. I gotta be by them? Well, come on and roll faster then. Dang. Keep going, Ezio. Clear the way for us. I wish I could, but the game's telling me I gotta stay by you. For whatever reason. Oh, move too slow. Roll faster. Music's amazing here, though. They're all over the rooftops. Do something quickly. Wait, what? Did I just kill him? Oh, yeah, we got these guys, too. Oh, they take two throwing knives. That's why. Okay. I'm trying, girl. Dramatic. Drama queen. All right. Let's get these guys over here. Oh, wait. He... All right, I should be good. Perfect. Is the way clear for you guys now? Are we all good? They're shooting at us. Who is? Who? Am I blind? I don't see anyone shooting at you guys. It'll be all right. Oh, you're going this way? All right. Oh, crap. Where? Oh, that guy up there? He's not even shooting. He's dead. Oh, now there's guys right here. I want no part of this. He's here. Do I need to like go across here? I don't think so, right? That's cool. That's a little bit of a taste of uh, Assassin's Creed 4, huh? I think they're clear now, right? Oh, there's more thieves up here. Oh, he's going to park it in there. Oh, I see. Cool. Come on in. Say a prayer later. Porco, I need to see. Uh, I need to see Antonio. Ah! 
Be uh, careful. Let uh, me do it. Go and find Antonio. Mr. Hugo, do what he says. Qual'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini. Okay, chill out, bro. Hey, hey, wake up. That's okay, we got her. We need help. This is about to be Ezio's Maria, huh? Where's Antonio? Make yourselves useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Where are we? Oh, they've sent for help. Thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care of... Now! Come here, boy. Tenetela. I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry! Ficatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? Now! Uh, ben Falco, uh, you work well under pressure. I do. She's spirited this one. Porca putana! Avanti! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the wound. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Ti venisi il cancero, brutto bastardo! Dang! Che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Dang! Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... unrefined. Then you know why I'm in the next. Sure. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Hey, you heard how she was talking to him, though? Jeez. That's how you talk to somebody after they just saved you? All right, let's go ahead and we have 23,000 in the villa chest. Sounds good. Prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti. Biscotti. And cafe. Please. What's cafe? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here. Have a taste. I love that. Let me try it. A little bitter if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know. Have you considered adding sugar maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. Okay, Mr. Barista. <laughs> now, where were we? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses and continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No, we must resupply and draw new plans. Can you afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Oh, that's a lot of exclamation points. Hold on. I do a lot of missions here, chief. Okay, well, I'll do this one. So I'm close to it. Oh, look at who it is. Salute, Rosa. You seem to be healing well. How are you finding Venezia? It has its charms, but how do you deal with the smell? It's schifo. Mm. So, what brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be? 
I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. Va bene, I can do that. Oh. I can't, but Franco can. Franco, move il culo. Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. About to get like a super jump. Position. Then okay. jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. Well, that's nice. There. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. All right. You saw how he was stroking her chin and stuff. I see you, SEO. SEO. Jump, Ezio. Okay, we have to grab. Perfect. That's cool. At the height of your jump. Yeah, I did that. So, how did I do? I've seen better. Ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, Smarjasso. Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the Frari. I mean, I don't like her when she's mean. It's kind of feisty. But right there, she kind of was kind of cute. Not gonna lie, SEO. Yeah, all right. You saw how, how happy he was. I don't think I've seen uh, Ezio clown around like that. Like since the beginning of the game. All right, we're gonna go to this viewpoint then. Because I need that skill for that viewpoint. Yeah, like Ezio's been pretty serious throughout this game until like now. <laughs> <laughs> Talking with her. I hope she's a returning character. I hope she's in Brotherhood and in Revelations. Well, maybe not in Revelations, but I hope she's in Brotherhood at least. If she doesn't die in this game. I'm really excited. If there's any Assassin's Creed game that I'm excited to play, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm excited to play Brotherhood. Sorry if I repeated myself there. I probably said it earlier. No, I think I, all I said earlier was that I heard that Brotherhood was a really good game. But I'm really excited to play that one. Yeah. I'm not trying to rush through the Ezio trilogy. I want to have fun with it. Look at that. Oh, wait. Nope. Do it again? Do I need to do it again? No, I shouldn't need to. This song's really good. This might be one of my favorite OSTs of all time. I'd have to put this game in the top 10. And it's hard, it's hard to get in my top 10 when it comes to music. I don't play when it comes to music. All right. There's a memory here, apparently that I can do. Oh, here's Rosa again. Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower then? Oh, girl, I just did that. Oh, as fast as I can, though. I'm timed. Okay. Oh, I could have synchronized here, but I don't need to. Get to the bottom. So? Looks like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there. I didn't think the music in this game could get any... I, I, I know I keep talking about it. I didn't think it could get any better. Ben trovato, Hugo. What's the trouble? But Venice Rosa happened. managed to escape from Seta. But the others were not so lucky. Emilio has captured them and now they await execution. Do you know where they're being held? I know they're still in the district, but beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. I'll have your brothers back here in no time. Easy peasy. Break out. Free the captive thieves from Emilio. It's kind of awkward hearing my little brother's name over and over. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, kicked in the face. Oh, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Careful. Ah. Look who's here. belong to the people. Emilio says he seeks unity, but all he really wants is control. Your crimes cannot continue. The people won't allow it. Satisfying. Oh, I have to escort them? Oh, crap. No good. Oh, we should use the poison. Uh, it's too late. We'll have a chance soon here. I just hidden blade stabbed all of those guys. Okay, here, 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 here. Uh, poison. What? That's kind of crazy. You saw that guy. He was like all groggy. Move, 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 move. Do we have to go up? Yeah, we do. It's faint. Anytime it's like gray like that, you have to go up. Well, they follow me. They are thieves, right? Yeah, I see him coming up. I got away from him now. Hey, y'all kind of suck for thieves, low key. All right. So, we did that. Yeah, I know. Let me try this real quick on you. Oh. There we go. I don't think you can normally attack with it. I think it has to be like a stealth thing. Oh. Listen to them squeal. <laughs> Who's pathetic? Seems like you guys kind of are. Nice try. Go! Take this man very, very seriously. Take this man seriously? What'd I do? Take this man very, very seriously. Give me that. That's what I wanted. Thank you. What the heck? Attack with it, Ezio. Oh! I. Hey. Hey. After seeing that, I would have ran too. This <laughs> way. I would have ran too. I would have said. <laughs> This is above my pay grade. I'll see y'all later. Alright, we need to... We gotta take these guys out quick. I really want to try this. Where are you going? Can't be just having guards running around. Are we gonna get attacked again? Move, move, move. Let's go up. Really, dude? Oh, they are following me. Cool. Just making sure. Come on up. I just need one of y'all. Oh my goodness. 
This is a travesty. Okay, there we go. Which way? Should I go down here? Uh, let's try to do this kind of safely. Sorry. Can't have you screaming. Ah, just two measly guards, huh? My favorite. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, big guys here. Hi. Whoa. Oh, they ran. <laughs> Ow. This guy's kind of aggressive. All right, just kill him. There it is. Oh, you're just going to run? Okay, well, bye. I just scare all these people, man. Let's go. They better hope I never get that Altair armor. They're not going to like me then. Oh, hi. Oh, wait. We got to fight them. <laughs> I just wanted to fight them. <laughs> I don't even think we needed to. Why not? How does this work? Am I doing something wrong with that? Oh, I never seen him do that. He's slicing the dice. Oh. All right, this way. I'm sorry. Some of you guys are probably mad that I keep using the hidden blades, but the, the kills with it are just so satisfying. Oh, this sword's good, man. It's like Simtar that I got. I think it's fire. I like it a lot. Uh oh. Move, lady. Oh my goodness. This way. We're making quick work of them. Let's keep going this way. Nah, we shouldn't have to aggro them. I don't want to fight any more guards for real. Unless we have to. Uh, I don't think we need to. Oh, yep, yeah, we have to. We are further away than the other ones. The other times I did this, I wasn't this far away. Oh, move, dude. A master at work. They have the butcher knives. I wanted to buy that thing. I think it's cool. The butcher knife is kind of hot. Apparently, I should just buy the weapons just to have them. I don't know. Oh, I totally messed up there. I was trying to try out the new parkour. The new jump mechanic. 
kind of cool. Can you guys make it? I broke my armor in the process. Come on now. Falling. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed so quickly. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks and I'll explain. Molto bene. Another job? Why is Leonardo's icon blinking? Should I go talk to him? Maybe I have enough codex pages for some more health. Oh, I need to go to the villa. I need to collect my money before it's... Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, you found another one. How exciting. If you transpose this word and move this line to the left, it's deciphered. There you go. Five codex pages deciphered. Two health squares gained. Great job, Leo. You're amazing. All right, here we go. Rescuing my brothers was more than just an act of charity, Ezio. The men you freed will play a vital role in the weeks to come. Just ask for their help and they'll join you. And once I have my little band of thieves, send them towards a group of guards and they'll create a distraction. Opening the way for me. Exactly. Saves me from having to bloody my sword. I like it. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need the armor that they wear. A shipment of the stuff has just been loaded into chests and now awaits delivery to Seta. Loot the chests and retrieve the outfits. When that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. We'll use it to move our men into the palazzo undetected. Consider it done. That guy has a really nice voice, by the way. All right, let's do this. Y'all should be, y'all should know how to do this. You're thieves. You taught me. Let's do this. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Is this what I need? Cool. Oh, I need to buy some more of those, man. Oh, there's more of these guys. Ah. Uh, are the other guys coming too? I don't think so. What the heck? That dude just clobbered me. God. Okay, I gotta take these guys out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he ran away. He wasn't a real one. It's so fun to change weapons in mid combat. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a lot of guys. I don't know what you said, Ezio, but they don't seem happy. Wait for it. Finish him. Don't fall for false. 
Oh, you can't get it. There you go, Ezio. Perfect. Get rid of that. You don't need that. Cool. Ah, oh, crap. These guys can be really hard to fight. Low key. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Twitch. <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. All right, now we got to steal the boat. Hi. Bro, I just want that boat. Chill. Oh, his body popped up. I just surfed it on his body. What the heck? Ouch. All right, sir. Chill out. There's like such a rhythm to this. It's fun. I love it. Now we have one of their boats. Molto bene, Ezio. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. Sounds good. This game is so good. I am having a ton of fun playing this game. And for this being session two, this game has not disappointed. Like the further we get into this game, the more I fall in love with it. There's still a lot of stuff that I want to do. There's still a lot of treasure that I need to get. Still need to get all the feathers here in this area that we're in currently. There seems like there's going to be a lot more story, which is very exciting. I can't wait to get the Altair armor. That's very soon, hopefully, because I think I need like one or two more tombs for that. So there's a lot of things that we need to do, guys, but I'm really excited to get to all of that. So hit that like button if you haven't already. Comment down below any tips, info, advice that you may have, and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.